Hey guys, it's Elena from Studio Denmark and I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to load brushes in Procreate once you've downloaded them from the internet. So if you download a brush set on Creative Market for instance, there will be a download button right here once you've paid for it. And when you've downloaded any files from Safari, which is your web browsing app on your iPad, it will go into your iCloud Drive downloads folder and that can be accessed via your files app. If you're not familiar with the Files app, it's just an app that comes with your iPad. As long as you've updated your iPad to iOS 13, then all of this should work great for you. So if you don't know where your Files app is, a quick tip is just to put your finger down on the screen like that and type, start typing files, and it'll be the first thing that comes up. So then you can open that up. And I've already got it open to the right folder, but I'll just show you how I got there. iCloud Drive downloads and in some cases if you download via a Dropbox or a Google Drive app it might be in the on my iPad folder but otherwise you'll find it iCloud Drive downloads and there I've downloaded a zip file which is my Procreate lettering brushes and to open a zip file it used to be very complicated but now in iOS 13 all you have to do is tap the zip file and then it goes ahead and it unzips the file into this folder. Then you tap the folder and it will depend on which brush set you have bought. Um, but there should be a dot brush set file with this extension. And that is a Procreate brush set file. And in order to load that in Procreate, all you need to do is tap on that. And then it loads up in Procreate. Once you open a new file, um, just go to your brushes and scroll up and there is the, the set right there at the top. That's the one that I just tapped. And that's really all that it takes to load these brushes into Procreate. 